For the closing, so Swan Garden figured out. Uh, you know, who knows when this will? You know, who knows when this will be uploaded? Uh, so yeah, no Universal this month, most likely. So far, you wouldn't know that that thing was going around at, at this moment. So all panic for nothing, as usual. So yeah, you know, I'm used to hurricanes and everything. So. Yeah, I'm used to I'm used to like disaster zones and situate you know, and this is the same thing basically. You know, there'll be hot zones, but this isn't one of them. So good luck on telling everybody that most people aren't used to this type of thing, or just some just have common sense. But either way, nothing to panic about. Just let it ride it itself out with the disease. All right, so. And connect a little bit and get the hell out of Dodge. So, all right, blessings, here we go. This is the Pleiadians. Also, we are connected to Ben Affleck's higher self. Yes, this is an unusual connection, but these are unusual times. Basically, you can see through, not to put Ben Affleck on a pedestal, but to give you an aspect, remember this is from his higher self, so this is allowed. But yeah, it's basically, it's showing that somebody, a person has sex addiction. That is from the Pleiadian energies but learning from your world to find his own identity he's gotten lost many times basically you show the Pleiadians can be sex addicts and they are but on their world it gets you can get away with it better on this world not so much it's another way of slowing one's addiction down it's not just alcohol addiction it's actually sex addiction the alcohol addiction is just to you know to put in your face basically or to yeah so it's you know it's easier to publicly talk about that than sex addiction but that's pretty much what's going on it's it's a Pleiadian Pleiadians have their their difficulties as for you know making love and making you know connections and some can get kind of lost on many many levels that's what's occurring at this time and it is a so on their world, it's okay. You can go raw hump everybody. Whoever is uh, open up, whoever wants to, you know, it's very human. You know, animals do it all the time. It doesn't always go so well, but it's animal-like in some ways on a Pleiadian world. It's a little bit more, you know, you know, how do you think you get to know who you know? You have worlds where everybody's doors are open basically and disease isn't that rampant now it does get rampant eventually when it's time to slow all that down but this is on different versions of Palladian worlds or it's like okay i did my raw hump forever and that was fine 15 20 lifetimes like that thousand years of screwing basically and then eventually it's time to do other things but it does have a, a positive to it especially those that don't have any relationship energies have shut down had a lot of negativity and it's another way of showing love but of course it has its drawbacks of not knowing yourself so some can get carried away with it but that's kind of idea so addiction isn't just on your world it's on other worlds so to give you kind of a understanding of that and it's a, an area of incarnation cycles that 
I don't believe people really understand. So this is our short message though. Greetings, this is Elon Musk, higher self, connected to Tesla. So it's basically Tesla's energy, Elon Musk combined. So notice how their energy shifts in your technologies. Realize the Zeta energies that are hidden, there's Pleiadian, Pleiadian Nordic beings, there's countless, even very advanced reptilian beings that have not showed themselves on their world. You're basically letting go of the third dimension reality that allowing these technologies to come in as you can go into space. So it's another indication of fourth dimension coming through. Now many are, yeah, it's a gradual process basically as your technologies evolve, your fourth dimension evolves. This is probably something I've never heard before, but we're reiterating it anyway. As basically you're letting go of third dimension idea systems, this virus is a slow exit from idea systems. It's, it's like many are gonna still hold on to the old system for dear life. As change, you notice how change is being forced on your society, many are going crazy. You know, Trump is the villain and all that. It just shows that your you know change is how hurtful change can be. So it's happening gradually through technology. Spiritually many are not ready for it because they're not believing in themselves. In their spiritual self they're not ready to dive into that aspect they're so busy learning the physical reality still you know they're enjoying it they can't get enough of it as you can see some of you have had enough of this place but some of you have brought technologies here buried them within the earth and landing that technologies but not there's others also a lot of alien beings seated a lot of technologies here that have not been birthed or discovered on other worlds, yeah. So is this a world that is very unusual? It has just not just you, your DNA, but also other aspects of warning has not been clarified and won't be for some time. Basically, your Earth is part of also the creation of the universe as aspects of the universe that other worlds can't contain, can't understand, can't hold within their own their own systems. So basically, your world is doing what other worlds cannot. Maybe at a lower vibration, but it doesn't always mean a bad idea. It doesn't mean bad. The souls are growing and learning more about themselves here than they do in other realities. So it's just a, it's a growing up process and technologies within the soul. Because the soul allows technology. Basically, you have, yes, you have technologies within yourself, basically. And you all have Akashic Record abilities too to bring down, but it's not always necessary for that. If you're all doing that, it's not necessary. There are worlds where many are pulling Akashic Record information and really taking your world. But those are usually at higher dimensions. And third dimension, it's not necessary for your reality. There are versions of Earth but that's occurring. When you have an Einstein on every block, basically. And just going to a higher vibration, bringing all kinds of things you can imagine. But you're here to learn about your soul, not about technologies that you can create. Your soul is not the easiest to recognize. There's so many layers within the soul that many forget in the higher dimensions that I want to see. That's why a lot of adolescents are here, a lot of souls here that are, are childish. Because they have, it's, this is the world that may help them grow. Get over that, mature. Mature on level, and maturing is so difficult. I can see even here with Disney, everything's very childish. A human adult can become a child again. And that's also for the adult to become an adult too. It's to heal that 
hear that aspect of the child self so you can see more in a third dimension reality. Third dimensional worlds can't have higher dimensional technologies here. Like you see in Star Wars, these spaceships can fly in the sky, sky and all that, without no problem. You can't have that, but the soul here is so unevolved. It's evolved, but it can be evolved even more. They're showing your possibilities. Basically, you can connect to the, to the ship itself, to its AI telepathically, and operate it without, hand, without your hands. Of course, I would much rather that, but there's just different ways of going about it. Basically, we have higher dimensional technologies here, but also you, you yourselves are higher dimensional too. But you're still at a third dimension reality, a physical reality. It can happen. And it's kind of happening here, but many of you still are at an adolescence phase, as you can see. It's still a, kind of a, it's not, it's a, it's a kid world in a lot of ways, because when it comes to maturity, it's still very young. But that's, it's not, maturing a soul is not, it's not easy. It's kind of hell, actually. As some of you know. Greetings. This is Rainbow Bright. I realize that the cartoon depiction is similar to the other way. This is energies of enlightenment, letting not to judge non judgment worlds where the soul can relax. Souls have been through hell, those have caused mischief draining other planets, destroying them. A rainbow planet like my own, rainbow dimensions, rainbow realities can heal the soul on many levels and forgive. Similar to the higher dimensions, it's a little bit more physical. There are fourth dimension realities and third dimension realities. Where where magic is a more powerful, where a tree can come to life, where a tree turns a rainbow, talks to you, have a conversation, and you just have the best day ever. So it's a rehabilitation planet. But realize many of you that cause difficulties in other realities are here to come to this world to, for karma, but also to teach others of your, of your energies to end the wars. Many of you in astral are fighting a war. You fought wars and caused devastation in your past. So you incarnate on earth to do a different type of war and the corruption basically on a level that you might not always see it in the physical if you're just living a normal life which is astrally you're doing a great deal it's just not as attractive as you might think but then again it is this is your your letting go of old timelines like the world war three and all that now this virus situation is for souls to know more about themselves especially if they're a panic energy many just love to panic it's part of their characteristics and they're cute at times and they can their cuteness can get kind of overblown and everyone can get tired of after a while as many of you have experienced so you're bringing in a new vibration into earth basically having my energies here is basically an energy of forgiveness forgiving many souls that just are just in pain and then you can know that there's a rehabilitation realities and spirit does help, but it can't, you can't always access everything in spirit, everything just of joy and love. Maybe you go into a lower astral and slowly come out. This is a lower astral world, but there's a lot you can learn from it. Now you can bring more positive energies in as many of you are, are working on right now. But many of those that are bringing positive energies don't realize, realize the darkness within themselves. So that's why it's not, the positive energies aren't, is when you recognize it, recognize your own darkness your own little vices it becomes easier to use your light many just ignore their darkness and then just out of nowhere they're just an asshole basically and it's like wow that positive person isn't so positive after all at least from my experience 
So this is where you're recognizing that darkness is soul growth at a highest level because many worlds you don't have to access it. This one, it helps to bring in the positives. I realize your darkness, I realize my own darkness, and we can all be at peace together. And many are having that that discussion with themselves. They say I'm positive and that's about it. And then they go on their merry-go-round of life and their fantasy distortion world. And you'd be surprised how many are on that train at this time. And there's others that are teachers that told them, yes, you have a positive energy, you know better than others. And that kind of shows there's darkness there too. So even the teachers have a lot to learn. And knowing that teaching the teachers is easier said than done. But many of you want to move on, have a better life, and bring in better energies to others. So having an open mind, willing, willing to learn at a teacher level or a student level really helps us.